Hey guys, this is Modoc here and today we are going to root the Redmi Note 5 Pro and install TWRP on it. It's a fairly easy process and you don't really have to do a lot of things. So first we are going to install TWRP and for that you need to have an unlocked bootloader. I already have a video about how to unlock the bootloader on your Redmi Note 5 Pro so I'll link it in the i button as well as in the description box. Now considering that you do have an unlocked bootloader on your Redmi Note 5 Pro, it's time to install TWRP. This is the easiest step because you just need to download the TWRP image file. Once you download it, paste it into your ADB folder. Connect the phone in fastboot mode to your PC. Type fastboot flash recovery recovery file name dot img and then press enter. Now your phone will have TWRP installed on it. To boot into TWRP recovery, hold the power and the volume up button together when your phone is switched off. As you can see, everything's working really well and now you have your Redmi Note 5 Pro with a custom recovery. The second step is to root the Redmi Note 5 Pro and for this, you need to download an app called Magisk Manager. I have linked the APK in the description box so go ahead and install it on your phone. Once installed, open the app and here click on the install button and then select the download zip file option. Let it do its work and once the file is downloaded, you can see it inside the Magisk Manager folder. Now switch off your phone, boot it into TWRP by holding the power and the volume up button. Here click on install and navigate to the Magisk Manager folder. Select the zip file and then install it on your phone. Once it is installed, wipe the cache and reboot your phone. It might take a while to boot up so please be patient. Once your phone reboots, you should now have root access on your phone. You can check this by opening the Magisk app or by downloading an app like Root Checker from the Google Play Store. So there you have it, you're finally on a rooted Redmi Note 5 Pro with a custom recovery. This allows you to do a lot of tweaking and even try new custom ROMs as and when they are available. I'm also trying to play around with the Camera 2 API and the Google Camera app but I'll talk more about it in a separate video. For now this is it and I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you guys have any doubts then please let me know down below in the comments and I'll make sure that I'll reply to them. As always if you found this video helpful then please like and share it and if you're new here then definitely subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on my new videos. That's all for now thanks for watching and I'll be back in your notifications very very soon. Peace.